Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about local government scholarships in China. So you will come here, you will write on the, come on the website campuschina.org and then come to scholarships and local government scholarships. Here you will find different scholarships, Beijing government scholarship, Shanghai government scholarship. So we are going to, uh, we are going to check is China normal university Shanghai government scholarship. Come here. And here you can see that what is the coverage of that scholarship, okay? Now we are going to start from an introduction. So Shanghai Municipal Government Scholarship was established in 2026 aimed to enhance the development of international student education in Shanghai and encourage more and more outstanding international students, okay, to East China Normal University. So categories of applicants, type A, full scholarship, applicant must be an excellent international student in pursuit of degrees. Applicant must be an excellent international student of degrees, okay? Like they have categories, first is full scholarship, another is partial scholarship. Coverage, type A, in full scholarship, what will be the coverage? So you don't need to pay the tuition fee, accommodation will be free and they also provide the medical insurance and give the mon monthly allowance. They will provide doctoral student 35,000 RMB, 3500 RMB, to master student they will provide 3,000 3, 3, RMB and undergraduate student they will provide 2500 RMB. So this, you know, this uh, category is where like this coverage is similar to CSA scholarship so I will I will like suggest to you like you should apply if you are going to apply in China in your master's degree or doctoral degree you can apply to three scholarships at least first one is CSE scholarship another is Shanghai government scholarship and Ansu scholarship these are like very good scholarships on which you can apply and get a very good stipend here in type B, you don't need to pay the tuition fee and they will provide the medical insurance. So they will not provide the monthly allowance and uh, also accommodation. Only tuition and medical insurance will be provided in type B. So they, they will also like uh, suggest you like when you will be going to apply then they will give you an option you want to select type A or type B. So you can select their type A or type B according to your situation. So eligibility applicant must not be a Chinese citizen, education background and age limits. So they should have bachelor degree program. So if you are going to apply for bachelor degree, you must have high school diploma. And if you are going to apply for master's degree, then you must have bachelor degree. Applicant for doctoral degree must have master's degree. So if you are going to apply for doctoral degree, then you must have master's degree under the age of 40. If you are ages above 40, then you can't apply. Applicant cannot be holders of any other kind of Chinese. So if you are going to apply for Shanghai government scholarship, then you should not hold CSE or AMSO scholarship or any other kind of scholarship. This is the deadline each year they have deadline may 15th and applicant uh, application procedure you should application form you should here on that website register and download that form they also provided that uh, institutional code you need to enter here if you are going to apply for east china normal university then you need to have highest diploma and academic transcripts, a research and study plan, recommendation letters, health certificate, uh, applicant for Chinese start. You, if you are uh, going to apply for Chinese start program, then you should have HSK certificate, HSK 5. And there they have like this institution also. Okay, and here if you are going to apply applicant for English start must provide proof of language proficiency. If you are going to apply in English start program, then you should have English language proficiency. If you can get that certificate from your previous institution, like if you have done bachelor degree from any institution, then they can provide you English proficiency certificate and then you can submit that. 
and if you have eyelids or TOEFL or any other English language test then it is a plus point. You need to submit 800 RMB application fee in East China Normal University and a PhD applicant should submit your pub published thesis you know if you have any papers or thesis then you should submit that as well. Application document sent by email fax or are fax not accepted application document will not be return whether the applicants are admitted by uh, East China Normal University or not. So here they are talking about applica application documents sent by email. So you don't have to send the documents by email or fax. You need to submit the documents here on their website. Okay. First you will need to submit the documents for Shanghai Government Scholarship here and then you need to uh, on that website and you also need to submit the documents on East China Normal University on that website. So I, I in, in another video I will make the proper procedure how you can apply for that. Yeah that's all about this is for Shanghai Government Scholarship and they have other scholarships as well you can see Beijing Government Scholarship you know and uh, Jiangsu Government Scholarship for example if you go to Beijing Government Scholarship this scholarship is like the coverage is not as better as Shanghai government scholarship you can see that student with this scholarship pay only you know you need to pay 5000 per year tuition fee in first class scholarship in second class you need to pay if you are doing bachelor degree then you need to pay 13000 RMB for tuition fee so you need to pay and and other expenses like if there will be any other tuition fee then they will uh, they you don't need to pay that you know but this tuition fee you need to pay and there is no ma monthly allowance or medical insurance accommodation you know so I think if you are going to apply then you should apply for Shanghai government scholarship because they are providing good coverage and if you have any question related to that scholarship you can ask me in the comment section Thank you so much for watching the video. Take care. Bye.